Welcome to the Houston VA Hospital. I'm Carol, the lead nurse here at the ICU. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Dr. Who. I like your tie. That's Dr. Who. Your most trustworthy critical care pharmacy specialist in the cardiac ICU. You've probably heard of him. Everyone knows Dr. Who. Dr. Who's amazing. I learned more from him than I've ever learned in pharmacy school. Dr. Who saved my life. Without him, this could have been a whole lot worse. Dr. Who, what a hunk. I mean, he's smart and funny, but have you seen that smile? Today's the start of a new rotation, and he's pretty excited to meet the new students. This month, he has two new P4 students on an API rotation and a PGY1 pharmacy practice resident on an elective cardiac ICU rotation. This is Katherine Wynn. She's a first year resident interested in oncology, but I heard from the nurses at Texas Children's that her knowledge in cardiology and critical care is weak, which is why she's on this rotation. This is Eamon Navid. Ever since she started pharmacy school, she knew critical care was where she was going to be. I heard she shadowed 10 critical care pharmacists, does research, and of course, is Rokai. And this is Lakshmi Pillai. She already knows she wants to work in the hospital, but just doesn't know if she's cut out for it. This rotation is crucial for her. She really wants to make a good impression. Today is my favorite. It's Judgment Day. The students will be giving their first patient presentations during rounds. Why? 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 As expected, Eamon nailed it. She spoke clearly and had minimal redirection from Dr. Who. Catherine was okay. She slipped up a bit, but Lakshmi struggled immensely. Dr. Who had to guide her through most of it. Great job, ladies. You guys did good for your first patient presentation. Let's go over some basic fundamentals. Why am I here? I already know all of this, and I should be running this show by now. So now for some advanced concepts. Make sure you... Wait, what? I don't remember ever learning this in pharmacy school. 